Alright, what's going on you guys? My name is Eternal Darkness once again, and welcome back to another episode of How's My Gun. I know it has been a fucking while since I've made an episode of How's My Gun, but I do have a good explanation for that. But really quick before I do that, I just wanted to thank you guys once again for all your support on the series, especially with the Tight 25 episode and the MTAR episode, because those views are just going up and up, and I really wanted to thank you guys for that. Hopefully you guys are still enjoying the series. And uh, yeah, now as for why I haven't made an episode in a little while, uh, about two weeks or so, is is because I've been sick for the past two weeks. Uh, I had like strep throat and then I had this other weird virus shit and it was just all really bad and it was it, it, it fucking sucked dick and uh, that's why I wasn't really able to make an episode because I was just I've been fucking miserable for the past two weeks. So hopefully you guys can forgive me for that. It was kind of out of my control about what happens with my internally buddy shit like that so uh yeah so hopefully you guys still enjoy the series and as you can see this week's gun is the dsr 50 because you guys recommended that at least some of my friends did and um yeah you guys suck dick because this sniper rifle was a fucking bitch to getting zombies so uh yeah hopefully you guys enjoy and uh trust you guys after the episode so, like I said, this week's gun is the DSR-50, and along with the MTAR and the t 25 it can be unlocked at level 4. As soon as you get creative class, pop that bad boy into a fucking glass, and you're ready to pwn some noobs. If you are a sniper, though, if you are a sniper, don't be using this shit if you're a fucking noob who doesn't know how to fucking use a sniper. Because it is considered to be one of the most powerful sniper rifles in the game, if not the most powerful sniper rifle in the game. And just because that is that, or just because that statistic is there, doesn't mean you should be trying to fucking use this thing because you think you're going to be good with it. Uh, its multipliers ensure a one-hit kill to the arms, torso, neck, and head when it is unsuppressed. Because the damage multipliers are head, you get a times two damage multiplier. Anywhere in the neck, the torso, or the arms, you get a 1.5 damage multiplier. Uh, it's a bolt action, and it says here that its nature leaves the player vulnerable between shots, which isn't exactly entirely true. All you gotta do is move around, shit. You know, I, it, it says especially when facing multiple opponents at once, it's not really that hard to deal with. Trust me, I've used it. Uh, it says its reload is manageable and can be partially, um, you know, like partially. It says mitigated. I don't know what the fuck that means. It said it, or mitigated. Uh, whatever that means, I'm gonna say its reload time can be shortened if you throw on a fast mag. That's basically what it's trying to say. Now, if you're gonna throw a suppressor on this motherfucker, it can only get one-shot kills to the head, neck, and upper arms, upper torso, and middle torso. The DSR-50 has the largest idle sway of the sniper rifle category, and thus the ballistic CPU is highly recommended as it reduces the idle sway of the gun, making it easier to use. Now, when you're comparing this gun, it is usually compared to the ballista due to them both being bolt action. But the DSR-50 is unlocked much earlier and kills in one hit from the waist up, whereas the ballista is from the chest up. Same as the DSR, but you know, excluding the lower, the lower torso. And so the DSR-50 is actually a much more reliable choice for one-shot kills, because I know there's a whole controversy about which one's better, the DSR or the ballista, since they're both uh, bolt actions. And you know, in the Call of Duty series, bolt action sniper rifles actually do happen to be quite powerful, uh, and if you use anything else, you usually consider to do. Um, the, but the ballista does have a magazine, ha, ha, has a higher magazine size of seven rounds because the magazine size for the DSR-50, you get five rounds in the clip and you get 25 rounds in reserve. So you, in total, you get about 30 rounds. Uh, fast, a slightly faster ADS time at the point, uh, 0.35 seconds. I don't know the actual statistics for the um, the what's it called, the DSR. Uh, it doesn't have it here. I apologize for that. But the DSR does do some high fucking damage, guys. This is a high-powered sniper rifle. This is what you want. You want high fucking power. You want to be able to lock in on that fucking enemy, take him down with one fucking bullet. Damage, you got 98. You get it to the head, that's what? Fucking, like, I don't know, like 100 and something. Or, like, 200. I'm not fucking doing math right now. Fuck that shit. Um, and uh, the rate of fire... But, uh, 50 RPM, you know, not as great as anything as, like, uh, the Type 25 or anything, because it's a fucking sniper rifle, guys, come on, Th use your fucking heads, guys, but anyway, yeah, and it says the DSR can be superior to the Ballista with sheer power and proper sniping and looked at, but the Ballista is more suited for aggressive playstyle, so if you're gonna be sitting back, you wanna be up in that fucking tower, you wanna be up, uh, um, in your fucking little bird's nest and shit with your fucking claymores and stuff like that, uh, you're gonna use this gun, you're gonna wanna use this gun to shoot these motherfuckers down range, especially put on a variable zoom with it, and, uh, you know, you can be, you can be taking out guys from across the map, that's all I'm gonna say about that. 
So, just like every other gun in this series, the DSR does appear in the zombies mode, and it can be acquired from the mystery box for 950 points, just like every other gun. Usually, usually, we'll get into that later when we get to those kind of weapons. At first, the DSR-50 performs poorly, suffering from less accuracy than the multiplayer, a small magazine of only 4 rounds, a fairly sluggish reload, and only 48 rounds in reserve. But that's kind of a bump up, actually, from the uh, ammo you get in multiplayer, unless you're throwing on, you know, what's it called, extended mags, shit like that. However, I, I know it says a small magazine size of four rounds, but four rounds is actually pretty much enough. I mean, the sluggish reload isn't actually that bad, uh, but the, uh, because overall, the main benefit of this weapon is that at its high damage, when if you're gonna, if you're gonna first get this, it's uh, it, uh, if you scope in and you and you hit that zombie once, it's a one hit kill up to round twelve, guys. I mean, you can keep this gun up until round twelve and then pack a punch it if you even want to. But when you do pack a punch it, actually, it becomes the dead specimen reactor 5000. Like previous sniper rifles, the DSR-5000 gives a massive damage boost capable of killing multiple zombies with a single round up until round 45. It also kills a lot. It also gains a larger magazine of eight and 98 rounds in the magazine and 96 rounds in reserve. Accuracy is also notably increased, making the DSR-50 much more effective at engaging zombies at longer ranges without missing. And it actually is extremely true. I use this gun, and the sway is just ridiculous. It's just fucking it's it's like it's not even there i i kept holding down shift and i i saw no fucking difference the gunner sees a variable zoom scope and idle sway is decreased just like i said the dsr is capable of upgrading multiple times and randomly adding or not or removing an attachment i don't know why it says that uh but like it always is 2000 points to upgrade this gun once again and the attachments include a include include a suppressor or an iron sight uh, although the iron sight is not available for the DSR in multiplayer. It says here to combine perks like speed cola and double tap because then it becomes a powerful weapon to use at medium to long range to take down single zombies, but it excels at taking out trains of zombies. And if you inquire the iron sights or use double tap, it becomes much more user friendly at shorter range. Alright, so now we have reached the part of the episode where I give my general opinion on the entire gun, both in multiplayer and zombies. You've heard the facts, and now I'm going to tell you my personal experiences with the gun and what I think of how you're going to use it. So, in multiplayer, uh, I think this gun is an alright gun for multiplayer if you like that kind of play style, you know, running around with a DSR, sitting around in the back of the sniper rifle of that kind of story. It's not usually my play style, but I kind of enjoyed it. I still kind of tried to incorporate my whole run around uh, while still using the DSR because actually on PC, it's not that hard to aim down sights and fucking zoom in on them. Then again, that's also because it's a mouse. Anyway, um, but you know, I would say use this gun on multiplayer if you really are uh, a sniper, you know, if, if, if you've been fucking using like the fucking intervention from Modern Warfare 2 and then you came over to Black Ops and you used the L96 and then you went over to fucking Modern Warfare 3 and you used the, um, I can't fucking remember what, it, the L11, L11, that's what it was. Uh, but if, you, if you've been using all those guns, I, I really do recommend using the DSR-50, uh, especially in multiplayer, you know. However, the attachments I would use, if you're gonna put two attachments on it, put the variable scope on it, and throw a ballistic CPU on it. If you're using one attachment on this thing, ballistic CPU, you don't need that much vari variable scoping on it, or if that's even a word. You don't need that much uh, range, especially with this weapon. If you got, if you see a guy down range and your fucking crosshair is on him, chances are you're gonna hit him unless you just can't really. Uh, if you, I, I'm saying, unless your aiming's bad, you know, you're probably gonna hit them and you're probably gonna get that one shot, one kill. Now, for zombies, oh, the zombies, dude. Zombies is where it just falls right off the fucking face of the earth. So, like I said earlier, I understand that it's a one-shot, one-kill up until round 12 without packer punching it, but to get it out of the box and then to use it, actually, as if it were, like, a real good gun is kind of absurd. Um, you know, running around with this thing, uh, zooming in on zombies, getting one-shot kills up until round 12, and then after that, I don't even know, I don't know if it's two-shot, I don't know if it's three-shot, I'm not even entirely sure. Um, but you know, running around with this thing and, and attempting to, like, get to, like, round 50 with it, it, it that, that, that's just fucking absurd. At least in my eyes, you know, I don't know, it's, it's only my general opinion. I really wouldn't pack-punch this gun, I only pack-punched it, uh, because obviously I had to for you guys. Usually I wouldn't, uh, I know I have a friend, Horrific Ninja. Uh, he he loves this gun. It's a fucking death. He he pack punches his gun all the time. I don't actually understand why, but you know I'm not I'm not here to judge. I'm here to give just my general opinion on the gun and what I think of it. And I really don't think that if you get this gun out of the box, take it. I mean you're probably better off with an RPG or something like or something like that. You know, 
It's just it's just all your play style and all how you choose to run the game and how you want to play with it. But again, this is just my general opinion. So you don't have to listen to me. You can tell me to go fuck off. You can tell me to go do whatever the fuck um, I do. And uh, yeah, so that, that was just my two cents on the DSR-50 in both multiplayer and zombies. And now we have reached the part of the episode, the ending of our episode, where I just go over basically everything I would tell you to do about this gun, and if I would use it or not. Multiplayer, would I use it? Ah, not generally for my playstyle. I'm not going to give it an X, but I'll give it that little yellow minus mark, if you will. So it's a maybe. It's a maybe if I would use it in multiplayer. But if I was going to use an attachment in multiplayer, again, I would use the Ballistic CPU. If we're only throwing one on there. If we're throwing two on there, I'd use Ballistic CPU and Variable Zoom. But usually I only use one, so I'm only going to leave the attachment as Ballistic CPU. Now, in Zombies, would I take this gun out of the box if I got it? No, I would. I would definitely not. Not. Not after this. And not after this one time. No, I would not. I would not take this gun out in zombies. However, I will give it still a rating, and I'm giving. I'm giving it a rating of a fucking four. I don't like this gun very much in zombies. You know, it's just my general opinion. It's all right in zombies, but you know, it, I wouldn't. I wouldn't grab it if my life depended on it. I'd rather probably take an MP5 off the wall and start point and racking with it. You know, uh, would I pack a bunch of the gun? I'm not going to spend 5,000 uh, points on a sniper rifle, so no, I would not pack a punch this gun. But I will give it a solid 5, at least for zombies, pack a punch. Uh, and the attachment, if I'm going to pack a punch this gun, it has to be variable zoom. Suppressor would just make this gun shitty. And iron sights, uh, I've never even tried iron sights on the fucking DSR-50. So I really wouldn't know. I only just kind of got it to variable zoom, and that was about it. So, uh, yeah, really, that's just my two cents, once again, on the whole... Thing. that's just my basic overview so hopefully you guys enjoyed but once again if you do happen to like the dsr you know don't let me discourage you from using it use it as you wish uh and you know just do your play style because once again this series is just all about opinions if you if you hate my opinion leave me your opinion in the comment section down below telling me oh the dsr is a fucking awesome gun okay uh apparently i'm wrong so you know but once again my name is eternal darkness hopefully you guys have enjoyed this week's episode of how is my gun and, uh, you know, subscribe if you haven't, like the video if you enjoy the series, and uh, leave a suggestion in the comments section down below for any other guns you want to see. Just remember, the only requirements are that the gun has to be in multiplayer and zombies. That's about it. That's the only thing you really need to submit a gun for the fucking series. And uh, who knows, maybe your gun might be chosen next time. Uh, yeah. So, once again, like I said, my name is Eternal Darkness. Subscribe if you haven't. Stay in the darkness as always, my friends. And uh, go watch the previous two episodes, the Type 25 and the MTAR. I'll probably leave annotations at the end of this episode. All right. Thank you guys for watching once again. Talk to you later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.